pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook, Lesson 29, Insights. God is in everything I see. As I repeat, God is in everything I see, I am being taught to shift from physical sight to spiritual sight. God cannot be seen with the physical eyes, but I can be aware of God's presence as I open my mind to an inner vision, Christ's vision. With Christ's vision, I see that behind every form is the light of God. I can train myself to open my mind with consistent practice to be open to the awareness of God's presence everywhere. I can practice by realizing that God is where I see that plant. God is not the physical plant, but through Christ's vision, I see the light of God is what is really there. Today, I am asking to see with spiritual sight, and I know that what I really want to see, I will see. And so I use time today to practice opening my mind to spiritual sight, opening my mind to Christ's vision. Through Christ's vision, I remember that only love is real, and behind all form is the love that is eternal, that is always there to see if I am open to seeing it. I am willing to practice today letting my mind be healed. I am willing to practice remembering that God is in everything I see. This lesson tells us that the idea that God is in everything I see is central to the course, the basis for all previous lessons and all subsequent lessons. Yet, as I say, God is in that table, all that I'm aware of is that table. It doesn't seem that I am seeing God, but the exercises are designed to open my mind to accept the possibility that God is there, that he is everywhere. Just because I am not aware of God everywhere doesn't mean that God slash love isn't everywhere. If I see something that upsets me or I'm afraid of, clearly I'm not seeing love there. I'm perceiving something else. This lesson is teaching me that despite my perception, love is still there. If I'm not seeing it, I must need an adjustment in my perception. Thus, every moment can be a reminder to take my perception to the Holy Spirit to receive his vision. His is the vision that will show me the love that lies beyond my perception. So this lesson is introducing me to a world I have not allowed myself to perceive. It is telling me there is more to see. It is part of the process of retraining my mind to question the limits I have accepted I do not have to be limited to what I am currently able to perceive. God is there for me to see. I need only let go of my limitations. I am not limited to a body because I am not a body. I am free. I am still love as God created me. The love in me always recognizes God in everything I see. If I don't recognize it, it is because I don't recognize myself. I am grateful for the opening this lesson brings to prepare the way for me to know myself. The love I share with God is in everything I see. God is with me in every step I take. If I see truly, I see oneness. Everything, every person, all joined in oneness. We are all made from the same substance. 
love, even though we may look different. Above all, I want to see the love that is present, not the seeming differences. The differences are nothing. Only the love present is real. Love is in everything I see. I can see love if I open my spiritual eyes and mind. I can see love if I choose to because I am capable of seeing it. I am love and can see myself. This is not too hard for me. There are no partitions between parts of the one self. The one self can see its whole self. I can see God because I am one with God. I can experience God in every moment if I choose to because this is the reality that exists. I can choose reality or I can choose the illusion of separation, separation from God, and consequently, separation from persons and things. Today, I choose truth. Today, I choose love. Today, I choose peace. Today, I choose God. Pathways of Light dot org.